Oh, hello. Wait, let me just uh, bookmark this. Okay, so you're interested in how to do bookmarks in Power BI. Let's have a look. Let's start by explaining what a bookmark actually is. So a bookmark lets you capture a certain view of a page inside of your Power BI report. And then later on, you can go back to that specific bookmark just by selecting it. Now let's have a look at how to create a bookmark and five different applications of how to use them. Here we have a Power BI report that shows the sales numbers for different stores on different pages. And what we are gonna do is create bookmarks for each page so that we can flip through them using a slideshow. All right, let's see how this is done. The first thing that we need to do when we want to create a bookmark is to open up the bookmark menu from the right hand side. So let's go to view from the top menu, then to bookmarks, and you see it pops up a new menu where we can add or view bookmarks. Now let's create a first one. Just click here on add, and you see we already created our first bookmark. That's it. What does it actually then do? Well, if we are, let's say, on a different page, for example, for Dusseldorf, I click here on the bookmark and it brings me back to the page Amsterdam and shows the visualizations exactly as they look like when I created that bookmark. Now, let's also create a bookmark now for Paris and Dusseldorf. And before I'm gonna do that, I just want to rename bookmark one to Amsterdam. So just double click and rename this one to Amsterdam. And then we're gonna do the same for Paris and Dusseldorf. So now that we have one bookmark for each store, we can go to view and this kind of creates a slideshow where we have our three bookmarks and we can flip through them just like this. Now, anytime when you want to exit the bookmark view mode, you just click here on the X and it closes it down. Now, when you have multiple bookmarks, you probably want to nicely organize everything that you have in the bookmarks menu. And this you can do by naming and using groups. Okay, so now that we have our three bookmarks, let's select them by holding the control key, then click on the ellipse. And then over here, we can select group, which puts it in one group called group one. And then we can simply rename this one to report pages. Now, this is the first way that you can use bookmarks to create a slideshow that you can use for presentation purposes or to share it with your colleagues so that they can flip through the main pages of your report. Now, let's have a look at a second way that you can use bookmarks, and that is to remove all of the filters that are in the report page with just one click. All right, so here we are on a new page where I added some slice of filters at the top. Now, at this point, there's no filter applied yet, okay? So this is important that you first create a bookmark with no filters applied to this page. I'm gonna go to my bookmarks pane and add a new one. I'm gonna call this one, remove filters. Now, this bookmark we can then attach to a button or to an image or any text field. Now, I already created a button over here in the form of an image. So let's select this one, go to action and make sure it's turned on and then select bookmark action. And as a bookmark, you go for remove filters, the one that we just created, so that when we have filters in place, we can go back to the state that we captured with the remove filters bookmark and all of the filters are gone. Now let's give this a try. I'm gonna put a filter on Amsterdam store, choose a certain promotion and for a certain year. And now I want to remove all of the filters of this page. So I just click over here on the image and you see it removes all of the filters with just one click. So that is the second way. Third application of using bookmarks is to create a toggle between different visualizations. For example, here we're gonna create a toggle between a tree map and a bar chart. Now, it's really important that you then also use the selection page. Now, you can find the selection pane if you go to view and then click here on selection and it just gives you an overview of all of the different elements that are on your report page. So here, if I click on the tree map, that's this one over here, let's rename it by double clicking on it, tree map, all right, and let's now duplicate it 
Control C, Control V. And let's change the second one into a bar chart. Now then make sure it nicely overlaps the first one. And now we can switch back and forth by using here this hide and view icon right next to it. Okay, so here we have the second tree map. So let's rename that one to bar chart. And if you click on the eye icon for both of them, there's no visualization. Then I want to show the tree map. So I just unhide it and I can then do the same for the bar chart. Okay, now the next step is to then create a bookmark that captures each state so that we can toggle back and forth. All right, so this is the bar chart view. Let me just add a bookmark for the bar chart view, rename it to bar, bar chart view. I'm gonna do the same, but then for the tree map view. So let's show also the tree map. Click on add bookmark and let's rename this one to the tree map view. All right, now the last step is to attach these bookmarks to the buttons that I already created before. So here the first button that's gonna bring me to the bar chart. So I'm gonna go here to actions, turn it on, select bookmark, and then the bookmark that we need is gonna be the bar chart view. Do the same for the table. So also here, turn the action on. It's gonna be a bookmark action and let's select the tree map view. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna click here on the bar chart and it shows the bar chart. Click here on the table and it shows me the tree map. Now this technique can be used in many different ways. For example, to create a menu that pops up when you click on a button. Now here we have the same report page from before. I just grouped some extra elements that I want to show in a menu. For example, the slices that I had before, they took too much space away from the actual report, so I decided to put them in a the menu. All right. So I group them all together in the selection pane. Now let me show them, all right? So this is how the menu looks like when it's open. This is how it should look like when it's closed. All right. So I just create two bookmarks to capture each stage and then we can flip back and forth. All right, so let me first make a bookmark for when it's open. I'm gonna hide the menu open button, then click here on add bookmark, rename it to menu open. Then I'm going to hide the menu, show the menu button to open it and add another bookmark. And let's call this one menu closed. Okay, so then I go to my menu button and then from here I'm going to choose action, bookmark action, bookmark, menu open. Okay, so now that I click on that button, menu is open. Now the only thing that I then still need to do is to add another action to the closing button button to be able to switch back and forth between menu closed and menu open. Okay, so that was application number four to create a custom menu. Now the last application of bookmarks is to add personal bookmarks for your own reference. And this is only possible in the cloud. So let's click on publish. So to use bookmarks in Power BI service, you have to go to view, turn on the bookmarks pane, all right, then you have report bookmarks and personal bookmarks. The report bookmarks are the one that are created by the report creator, so visible for everybody. Then you have the personal bookmarks that you only can set up and only you can see them. So let's create one. So I'm gonna go here to personal bookmarks and let's say this is gonna be my first view. So let's add one, view one, that I would like to have the bar chart as a spotlight, okay, so let's add another one, view two, okay. Then I click here on view mode, and you see just like in Power BI desktop, we have bookmarks one of two now, and I can just go here to the next one. We have seen five different ways of how to use bookmarks. If you would like to have a closer look at the workbook, I have included a link in the section below. I would of course love to hear how you are using bookmarks, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you would like to learn more about Power BI. See you in the next video.